Alex here back in the shed. Tonight I want to go over drilling the holes in the clamp for the V3. First off you want to go over to the RPF, find the V2, V3 builder's kit thread. I have a link in the description below. And download the Trooper Trent clamp template. You're going to want to print this out at 100% scale. If you print this out at 100% scale it should work. For some reason if it doesn't just keep printing with small increments of percentage until you get the width 50.8 and the length 119 millimeters. Another thing we're going to need is a eighth inch drill bit and a eight millimeter countersink bit. What's that knocking? Uh, I have this countersink here. It came in a, I got this off Amazon years ago. It came in this three piece set. This one goes right in the middle. Woo! This is my secret weapon for the Darth Vader stunts in Return of the Jedi. The main reason why you want this bit is because it has a chamfer on the edge. So uh, when you drill these holes, you tap it just a little bit to give that hole the, ch the chamfer because that is on the uh, prop today. And you're going to want a clamp. This is a vintage clamp. Um, the clamps that came with the Perfect Cast kit didn't have the holes in them. So this template you can use to drill your own holes. You don't want to drill, if you don't want to drill your own holes, Roman Props has these things in stock right now, 50 bucks. You can find a link in the description below. And they're perfect. So, this being a vintage clamp, my vintage clamp, I'm going to uh, cut out this template, get it fitted, and then show you uh, how to locate the holes. We're going to cut out our template. This brings back memories. I remember the day that Trent and I designed these via FaceTime. It's a long time ago now. You can see we have this oval shaped line here. I cut that out uh, to help line up uh, on the clamp. You shouldn't have to because if this is correct by butting it up where it needs to be, it should be all set. But I do this anyway just so I can see it. Next thing I do is I take a sharpie, those fine tip sharpies, and I color in the circles here until they punch through. Okay. Next up we want to make sure the clamp's on the right orientation. So they actually flipped it. Uh, so take it apart and uh, make sure the groove here is this way. Okay. Next up, we're going to take the template and we're going to push it in here so it's up against the inside of the clamp. See it there? This is 100% scale and it's perfect on a vintage clamp, which is tough because all vintage clamps are made differently. They're made by hand, so... Now this is where the oval works great when you cut it out because you can see it now. I'm going to wrap this around underneath. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to make sure my paper is flat with the bottom. So now with the template on there, you can color in those dots. Or if you don't want to color them in, you can hit it with your center punch now. Now I'm going to center punch them. got the uh, clamp center punched. I'm just going to get the Dremel out and Dremel off these tabs, the clamp tabs inside.
So when sanding the tabs, I try and alternate. So if I start with this one, I do that one, and then that one, and then that one. Because once, a very long time ago, when I was sanding them, I heated it up so much, it stained the, uh, the nickel finish, or the chrome finish. So lesson learned on that. That won't scratch the uh, perfect cast now. Nice and smooth. Next up, we gotta get this thing in the mill now. So before we drill the holes, you're gonna to wanna to reinforce this clamp because I've seen other people attempt to drill these holes and it grabs the uh, clamp and actually destroys it. It spins it and warps it and um, it actually could hurt you if you're doing this in a drill press without this stepper bit. Uh, or conventional drill bit that size could grab it and spin it and hurt you. I always use something to reinforce it. I actually made this pipe out of scrap that I had with the holes in it already so I can use this as a little jig or um, reinforcement. So when I'm drilling I don't have to worry about uh, the clamp grabbing and binding. And we'll throw it in the uh, mill and start drilling these things. Perfect. There you go. sand the inside of the lever now so I can get it to spin. The washer's removed. There we go. One thing I'd like to mention is you don't need an end mill to drill these holes, you can do it with a power drill. But it's very important to use something inside this clamp as reinforcement. PVC pipe, a wood dowel, anything um, just to prevent this from snagging and ripping and damaging your uh, clamp. Again, super shout out to Trooper Trent for making this template all those years ago. You can download this, like I said, in a link in the description below. So that's how I drill the holes in the clamp. Again, I don't know if it's the right way to do it, but that's how I do it. It's very minimal tools required. And again, this is the main piece, this eight millimeter countersink stepper bit. The stepper bit for the win is a must, a must have for this project. And the Darth Vader uh, Return of the Jedi stunt as well. So that's gonna wrap everything up. I wanna thank you all for watching, keep an eye out for the next video, and most importantly, be kind to one another. This is Hallowax, out.